What's up guys, Rogue9 here. During the mini patch update for Rainbow Six Siege on Thursday the 14th of December 2017, Ubisoft announced the rollout of a 60Hz tick rate for all servers across all platforms. Hooray! But wait, haven't I heard this one before? I think we need to take a closer look at this topic. What was the tick rate in the past and what do the most recent changes really mean? Let's do it! The objective of this video is not to give you a full netcode analysis. If you're after something more detailed, I'll include a link to a technical analysis video at the end. Instead of duplicating that info, what I want to do is to briefly lay out the difference between past updates and the one we've just received now, as well as to explain what these changes mean for most players' in-game experience and what you can do to get the most out of the update. For those of you who are not familiar with the concept of a server's tick rate, it is basically the frequency with which the server can send or receive information from the game clients, that's the software running on a PC or a games console, of each player. A tick rate of 60Hz means that the server will send and receive information 60 times per second or once every 16.66 milliseconds, whereas for instance a server with a 30Hz tick rate can only update once every 33.33 milliseconds. Why is this important? Well, on a very basic level, the slower the tick, the more processing time is added on top of the latency, which is the time it takes for your PC or console to send and receive information to and from the server. This communication delay is shown in-game as your ping. So a combination of a lower ping and faster tick rate will result in better hit registration, less issues with peekers advantage or dying behind corners. Now the 60Hz tick rate servers for Rainbow Six Siege have been continuously announced and re-announced for basically the entire lifetime of the game. And so if you're a little confused as to what was updated in the past and what this new update changes, don't worry, I think we're all in the same boat here. It's actually kind of funny that the game was released on the 1st of December 2015 and only two weeks later, on the 16th of December 2015, patch 1.1 was rolled out and, according to the patch notes, included a 60Hz tick rate for certain regions. Over the years, the patch notes for patches 1.2, 1.3, 2.3, 2.3.2, 2.4.0 .2, and now recently 2.4.1 all indicated further updates and improvements to things like the tick rate, hit registration and lag compensation. So these magical 60Hz servers have been promised again and again for over two years. Does patch 2.4.1 finally deliver on this promise? Well, the short answer is yes. Up until the latest patch, the tick rates for the servers were variable. That means that whenever nothing was happening on the server, no one was moving, the information send rate of the server was only around 16 Hz. Once you started moving your character, the send rate of the game client, i.e. your PC or console, increased to 60 Hz, but crucially, the send rate of the server only ever increased to a maximum of 50 updates per second. So we never really had the full 60Hz rate, but with the new patch, the servers and clients run at a constant 60Hz tick rate, delivering a slightly better gaming experience for most players. There are a couple of exceptions though. One issue is linked to the performance of the game client. If, on PC, you have your graphics settings so high that your frame rate dips below 60 frames per second, then your game will only be able to send updates at the current frame rate that you are experiencing. For instance, 40 Hz if your frame rate is 40 frames per second. Ensuring a decent frame rate, of course, has become especially challenging for some players on PC after the latest Windows 10 update, which I suspect is causing the recent frame rate problems for players across all kinds of games. But to get the best possible experience with Rainbow Six Siege, you need to make sure that your frame rate always stays above 60 frames per second. If the game dips below this number, I would recommend playing around with the graphics settings and maybe checking for a solution to the Windows update frame drop problems. Another somewhat more difficult issue to fix is the ping that you can get to the nearest Rainbow Six Siege servers. This depends on your internet speed as well as your location. The slower your internet is and the further the information has to travel to the server, the longer it's going to take, resulting in a higher ping and if you're suffering from a high ping, you are still likely to experience issues in the game despite the server-side netcode update. So there you have it, as long as you can keep your frame rate above 60 FPS and you can get a decent internet connection to the nearest servers, you should be having a slightly better online experience with Rainbow Six. 
And this conclusion was supported by a little YouTube poll I ran a couple of days ago. You could argue that an update from a 50 60 hz variable rate to 60 60 fixed rate is quite minor and so it's not surprising that almost half of the 10,000 respondents indicated that they did not know about the upgrade and have not noticed a difference. But at the same time, more than a third of respondents have noticed an improvement, while 18% knew about the update but are not seeing it translate into a better gaming experience. I hope this little insight has helped you to better understand what the 60Hz upgrade in patch 2.4.1 means for you. If you want a more detailed insight into how the update has affected communication between your PC or console and the servers, check out the link to the video by Battle Nonsense coming up in the end card. And before I sign off, just a quick reminder about the Year 3 Season Pass giveaway I'm holding right now. Use the link in the description to take part and set yourself up ready for next year. And that's it! How has the game been running for you since the December 14th patch? Let me know in the comments section below and while you're there, you know the drill, the like button is for those of you who liked the video, the dislike button shows me that the video was not up to scratch. As always guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode. If you want a more detailed intersight, intersight, okay, to a 60Hz fixed rate, to a 60Hz, what, <laughs> what am I saying?